Hello friends. Welcome you once again to our channel to learn to handle your professional data on various platforms. When you use the on-premises exchange server for an extended period, the database size increases. It slows down the server's performance and affects the email communication. It would help if you learn to reduce the exchange EDB file size. A simple method to reduce the EDB file's size is to defragment it and reduce the white space. First, use the command to get the actual size of the database. After getting the database's size, you should dismount the database from Exchange with the help of new command. To defragment the database, run the ESEUTIL with slash D, switch along with the full database path. After running the command, mount the database back to the Exchange server with the command. Now, you can use the data without any issues. But, if the EDB file is facing some corruption, then you cannot access its data. In that case, you should use Kernel for Exchange Server Recovery Tool. After you open the Kernel for Exchange Server, click the Offline EDB File option, and then again choose the same option, Offline EDB File, then click Next. Browse the EDB file, from its location, and then click the Next button. Then select the Scanning Mode, and click the Next button. The tool will quickly scan the EDB file, and you can click the Finish button. Now you can choose the PST file option in the destination pane, and use the various options. The important option is the checkbox to split the PST file, after a specified size. Then you can choose to select the destination for the PST file. After selecting the destination, click Export. The items will be exported. Thanks for watching the video, and please subscribe to our channel, to gain more information about such tools. You can also visit our website. Have a nice day.